Continuing our team coverage on Results 2020, thousands of returning citizens are ready to head to the polls. We are learning thousands of fines have been paid off, and they are going to cast their ballots in a big way. News 6's Jerry Askin joins us now live from the Amway Center in downtown Orlando. And Jerry, they're also planning a march this weekend. Ginger, right, and they're calling Saturday, you know, a statewide day of action. That's where many returning citizens are showing up for the first time here ever to vote. That we're talking hundreds of real people who are happy about voting, and one local organization has been working to get results to try and make that happen. We're going to celebrate. We're going to show people that voting is something that we should want to do. Desmond Mead is all ready for Saturday here at the Amway Center. They're ready to have their voices heard. He told me it's a big deal for the hundreds of returning citizens who are, in fact, marching to the Amway to early vote. So many of these individuals uh, will be voting for the first time. I myself uh, is going to be voting in the very first presidential election ever. This comes after Meade, who runs the Florida Rights Restoration Coalition, or the FRRC, has done bus tours all across Florida, he said, pushing the importance of felons voting. I want to register to vote. You can see Meade's excitement last year after Amendment 4 passed when he legally registered to vote. He said his organization has since paid off fines and fees for more than 40,000 returning citizens statewide so they can vote. That 27 million from celebrities and generous people who donated. That the biggest winners is not someone with a D or an R. The biggest winners in this election are going to be the returning citizens, are going to be people who have been shut out of the democratic process for over 150 years. Yeah, and that march actually will begin here at the Amway Center, and supporters and returning citizens will march through Paramore beginning at 2 p.m., and then return back here to the Amway Center to early vote. To read more about the efforts happening here this weekend outside the Amway Center, you can find this story at clickorlando.com. For now, we're live outside the Amway Center. I'm Jerry Askin, getting results. News 6.